Dios. Right, we're back in, boys. Um, again, off blockers have got a lot more short swords than plebs. So they've got eight short swords against five of plebs. Which means they can have a lot less killing power. When you think that plebs have got three pikes, two jewel blades, <clears throat> a glaive as well to buff everyone's damage, it's gonna be rough. Um. Looks like sloth blockers are going to do a more standard defense, so they've got nothing to stally out. Um, they're not going to try defending A with that lot, I wouldn't have thought. Maybe Young's with his village watchman will stick them on A just to slow them down slowly. But um, they're going to pull back and do the standard, let's say, uh, C side supply defense and like try and stop them at B in the stairs. So we'll see, man. <clears throat> Then it's proud of both teams. Master Jam, though, that was only the first one. So, uh, Plebs won their defense, and we'll see if Plebs can, uh, can win their attack. Obviously, they've, they've guaranteed themselves a point. They've definitely got a draw. <gasps> oh, apologies. And, uh, I won't be surprised if we see Sloth Blockers. Yeah, they're not going to do <clears throat> They're moving all the units back probably to the resupply already. Um, they're going to use the artillery and just pull back as, as they can. Maybe try getting a cheeky kill off on a couple of the, the heroes as they do stuff. Amya doing there. Right, we got a close up on the worst player in Conqueror's Blade. Where's the second worst player? We've proven it in the last batch series, but another like why do the shit players in this game have like the worst taste in the tire? Look at how crap that looks. Look at the state of it. What is that? Purple, red, black, and is that like green or something? That looks horrible. <laughs> Whoever's using that blister agrees with me. Just tried headshotting him. Right, so all the towers are going to get in easy peasy. Um, they're going to have like full 10 minutes to, to look at A and B. Uh, a and B, sorry, B and C. They're getting trebs down already. So here are the village watchmen. Why are they just sat there? Is that just to stop somebody going up and getting the resupply, maybe? Interesting. And again, shout out to Coffee Field Gaming for making that uh, CBR Rivals intro. I sometimes forget to say that, but it's, it is a very nice intro video, so... As often as I remember, I need to say it. Right. So, as expected, Sloth Blockers are pulled back. I think they're going to struggle with killing heroes, though they've got a lot of short swords. Out. Obviously, they're probably thinking Ironsides, stay alive as long as possible, just stay on points to stop them from capping. But if you're not killing heroes, you're going to struggle. That's why Plebs have got a lot of hero killing power in their in their lineup. Of course, they've got a uh, Kicker Manu and Kicker Vasectomy as well on Moles, plus Flynn. Kick a flint to, to pick people up and drag them out of the way. <clears throat> I like this again, being on top of the tower to actually see what's going on so you can see the movement. Um, a lot of the guys from Plebs are pushing around to this supply point, so change units probably so they don't have to wait for them to run. They can leave them here as well to make it look like they might possibly rotate back around. As you can see here, a lot of the guys from Sloth Blockers are fairly high up on the, the stairs as well, just so that they if they do get pushed, they can't get trebbed. Problem they're going to have here, if Plebs push down to the supply or straight down these stairs on B, if I got this, you can see it better. These stairs, they've got a long rotate, man. They've got to move so goddamn far. <clears throat> Let's have a look at the units quickly. So the attackers have got Falconettes, they've got two units of Shenjis. They have Flamey Boys up as well. Amy's still got his Sons of Fenrir, interesting. 
The defenders have got Falconetti and Shenji. That's it, especially wise. Um, decent Feb coming in there. They do much work. Not really. Probably did a bit of damage. Didn't kill any of the units. Um, Flebs are basically all stacked up on the air as well. So they've got guys. They got their Falcon. Is shooting towards the supply or like the bottom of the stairs here. I wonder if the main push is going to come along here. Then and they're going to try having their Falcon set up here to disrupt as they push down. They do have Manu pushing along the back wall here, although it looks like he's going to go down and actually go for B. Ooh, the second is already there. So is Skiz. Interesting. Are they just scouting there or are they actually bringing units? They do have units sat down here already, so they could be going for a B push. Interesting. All right, let's go back and get an overview. So there's a good chunk of heroes here. Those Berserkers could do work, though. Skiz has been caught out, I believe. Yeah, Skiz is dead. Obviously, the, the risk of playing a Jewel Blade, if you do get caught on the back foot, you instantly melt. <clears throat> I think they've got too much on the stairs, though. If they need to rotate anywhere quick, that's going to take a long time to get that infantry anywhere. And there is a lot down in this corridor here to be. They've got a lot of units as well. They'll easily be able to push these guys out the way here and get on the B and get a setup on B before anything over here can get anywhere near them. It looks like they've finally seen it, but they've still got a lot of guys up here. You can move everything down and leave a guy on top to see where the units are. And there's like eight guys already here from plebs that are going to be in a position to push B in a second. Look. Got Shenji's as well, been at a bomb down. They pulled back a lot of the stuff. It's just edging with his unit up there now. But again, if, they, if these go in full with a push now, gate back here has been destroyed. If plebs go with a full push, they're easily going to be able to get on the B. The defenders don't have a cavalry unit as well to react quickly. They've got Sons of Fenrir up. The Shenju's back here, but if these get caught out by Yavamul and some other units, these are gone. I think Yavamul's just been a pest, though. Just lost its horse. There's coming the push now, I believe. That is a bad move. They've just lost Berserkers and Grey for no reason. That is a bad move. They should not account to push that two against like nine guys. That is not what you want to do. You've got a couple of the guys moving along to the supply now, but the main fight is going to be down on B. Vibes are taking their time. They've still got eight minutes. They don't need to rush anything. They try to get decent trebs off. They've got guys here to make sure that they have to keep stuff over, but what have they got? Like Berserkers? Two sets of Berserkers only. They can move quickly back over here if they need to. <clears throat> they shouldn't get involved in a fight if they don't need to, though, because they could get easily outnumbered there. Now, they're on B, look. They don't even have the units there. They've just got heroes. So I think they're keeping a lot of the stuff stacked up here just so that if they can try capping it like that without actually getting heroes involved. What are sloth blockers doing? This is so weird. Like, these guys are expecting to just take beam. They've got a big presence here so that as soon as they can get to go to base, they're going to go straight for base. But this is strange, man, that sloth blockers are being so... <clears throat> it's just like they're letting plebs play the ge the exact game that plebs want to play, man. Valia needs to be careful here, though. He's nearly dead. He needs to think about pulling back and healing. Literally no point uh, gifting him a, a kill. Obviously, the muskets up here just constantly bombing as well. The Shenji's back here doing work. Sons of Fenrir are in a position to move in easily. Treb's getting placed left, right, and center. Fight in the background here. Um, the defenders have actually cleared it. If they can get into those Falconettes now, which they're going to do, so Zeus is on it, or Zooks. This is the play that I thought Plebs would have been doing a lot earlier. It looks like they're definitely going to get B. Look at all the firepower they still got up on top of the walls. Look at all those bombs coming in. The defenders have pushed through fairly good into the back lines, though. They're going to get into the back of the maybe get rid of the hit, uh, the flames. They've got into the back of the shields as well. But I think there's too many plebs heroes alive. Yeah, plebs had enough too much on the point there though. So they're going to get B. Um, Loft blockers have lost more units. We're going to check hero kills now as well. So they've got B, C and the base point are open. 8 to 5. So death wise, it's very, very even. Only Julius has died... No, scratch that. Only Lockhart has died twice. Plebs are getting the resupply over here. They're going to get C easily. These three short swords are trying to run away, but Edgin's been caught out, so he's probably dead. 
Uh, God Hashi looks like he's going to get caught out as well, especially with the Caltrops from the Musket slowing him down. They've lost another two heroes. And now Plebs have got control of the map, and pushing the endpoint is fairly easy on this game, if we're being honest. And apologies, guys, for not reading the chat. Mm. Right, so let's see how the the end push goes down here, or the, last, the final push at some point. Again, plebs have still got 969 units. I mean, they do have a lot of peasants with them, but they definitely have enough units for two solid pushes. Um, looking at number-wise, the defenders probably should have enough for two fights as well. Um, the only problem here is, though, this whole area basically can be trebbed. So they have to be keep their eyes peeled. Trebs, there comes one. Has anybody noticed it? Yes, they've noticed it. Have they seen where it's going to land, though? That's going to do work, I think. Or have they been lucky? Oh, they started moving straight through it as well. That is unlucky. I'm going to get an angle like this so we can see what's going on. And then try moving in and zooming in on back fights as they kick off. So you've got like four or five man on this side just to put pressure on them. They're going to do a 10 man push probably. Oh, apologies for camera. They're going to do a 10 man push on the point, clear it off as much as possible and then just treb everything. So sloth blockers are doing a counter push on this side, which is actually a good call because they can't get treb then. They can maybe kill as, as many as possible. However, there's so much on the base point now that they might struggle getting back on once they win that fight over there. And they definitely did win that fight over there, at least unit on unit. Most of the heroes managed to pull back. Um, sloth blockers have to pull back over to the base point now. Cavalry coming from the side, or tried coming from the side, got absolutely cock blocked from flames, I believe. Multiple heroes dropping from both sides. Well, multiple, like two each, isn't it? Temple shot actually did something. He just killed Lorcar. Is that actually even allowed? Uh, a lot of cavalry just respawn from plebs as well. They've got control of the base, kinda. They, they still have more units over here though, so... Looks like Temple Shot's trying to get his shields in to save the Shenjis. There's still a couple of flames on point as well. Cavalry coming back through the side now, so Skiz, Wiro, and I believe that was Amya, or Amya's coming now at least. Um, and they've won, basically. That's one thing that I really like with plebs, what they do. So, But they basically baited here with less units. They got attacked, committed their units. All of the heroes just run back in and got new units straight away, knowing full well that the main attack was on the base. And then the units they brought out were like fast DPS units. So when they turn around and hit this, when they come back around to hit them from behind, they could just absolutely nuke them. Absolutely nuke them. <clears throat> That was well played. Amu with the MVP, 10877. So apparently because he killed him so many times on the last time, he thought he wouldn't bother. Uh, temple shot. I mean... Last three games, he's been bottom. Second from bottom. And now third from bottom. <laughs> Header up here, look. Proving that he's not the worst. <laughs> Oh my days. Well played to Pleb Zone. Well played Sloth Blockers, to be fair, as well. Like, that was a lot more competitive than I feared it may be. I thought they would get absolutely ruffle stomped. Them being bottom team of the of the of their table, obviously, with taking over from Jack Fultras, forfeiting a match and stuff. It doesn't clearly show the actual skill level of Sloth Blockers, but they're the newest team, if you like. And, well, they are definitely the newest team in the Feudal Division. So, well played both teams. Lockar for um, Sloth Blockers. MVP, 1, 3, 3, and 56. Got 8 Falconettes as well. Differophanoid. And <laughs> apologies, Shenjis. Right. Look at post that. And as you can see, Plebs won both engagements actually pretty handily there. Like the disparity on units died was pretty goddamn high. Heroes killed 26 to 6 is huge. When you think technically the mass, max heroes killed you can have is 45. Um, that's well over half of the, the the killing that they could have done. So well played plebs. And well played soft blockers man. That was like I said a lot closer than I thought it was going to be. Um, just like looking at the league. Plebs being at the top and soft blockers being at the bottom. Very nice match. I enjoyed it. I think we've cleared up that Tempo Shot is actually the worst player. And Header is now second worst. 
Um, and uh, when Temple Shot starts his, his, his defense and the thing with his excuses, you're only as good as your last match, my dude, and the last three you've been terrible. So, 